Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing a little haul from the last couple of weeks. I've picked up just a couple pieces from ASOS, Gap, and Parfois, if you know that brand. Um, and I just thought I would share them with you. I'm also gonna do this as a try-on haul because really, what's the point in doing a non-try-on haul? I really feel like you always need to be able to see what the pieces are like on. So, I'm just gonna jump right in with these few pieces. Uh, I'm really excited about all of them actually uh one issue one issue with one of the products but i will talk about that when we get there so let's just jump in with the one i just got one thing from gap and one thing from parfois so i think i'll just do those two first so the first thing i got is going to be kind of hard to show because i'm so pale oh there we go <laughs> just hide it hide myself for a second it is a shirt dress with it actually has pockets which is kind of fun it's from gap so cozy and so cute on it's really soft um and i like gap products they do try a little harder than other brands um as far as sustainability they're are they good no but are they better than a lot of others yes so uh, I was looking for another dress that I could kind of wear to class and stuff like that and this was the perfect thing. I love the black wash tartan even though I wore this colour black wash, you can't really see this colour here, you'll see it in the clips I put over this. I wore this colour black wash tartan for three years for school and I was like oh, a little bit when I saw it but I also think it's really cute So and I love the ruffle detail and the fact that it's a shirt so I'm super happy with that and I just know it's going to be a really really versatile piece from like now going forward because it's so cold um but I could also wear it with like I could wear it with ankle boots or I could wear it with tall boots it just kind of works across the board I could dress it up with like headband and stuff like that or I could just wear it casually the other thing I got is still kind of in its it's still got plastic on here and still got foam here but it is a little mini backpack for from uh, from Parfois uh you can see here it was 35.99 and I actually have absolutely no regrets I don't know if it's coming up as pink as it is in real life on camera but it kind of it has like a, looks a bit more golden it has a pink undertone and it is so cute i saw this in the shop in limerick i was there with my mom uh last weekend and i just saw it and i was like it's i don't know it just reminds me of nancy drew you know that film uh emma roberts she was in the like remake of it oh, okay so those are the straps but um the inside is amazing it opens up really really far and i'm gonna see if i can try and get the light to cooperate with this uh but it has a zipper pocket and it has like two like kind of like a phone size pocket and a slightly smaller one and it has like, slots for like cards and stuff it is really snazzy in the inside so that was a big factor for me it also has a little back pocket here so you could have your phone in there so you could feel it if it was like ringing and vibrating um but it's not at risk of being robbed and same with the front pocket here just so cute i'm obsessed with it i love the colors i was looking for a mini backpack and then i saw this one and i was like even though it's printed which could make it a little less wearable for some outfits I was still like no I think I'm just gonna have to do it because it'll be over a coat a lot of the time and it goes with all my coats so so excited by this and I really think it was worth the price Parfois I always have a lot of cute bags though I always have to like resist when I go in there so then I have four things from ASOS one of them I'm a little unsure about and that is this headband from River Island and yes it is so cute I know but it's like misshapen and I don't think I, you know, I could have sent it back to ASOS, but I really, really like it. So I'm just trying to kind of reshape it, but I'll pop it on for a second so you can probably see. Look, like it's all bent out of shape. So I'm going to try and like kind of warm it up and, or just try and like fold it because obviously it got kind of squished, but it is, I don't know, my ear's sticking out there, but it's super cute with the pearls and everything, but this. You know, and it's, I wouldn't wear it with my hair straight anyways, because having waves or curls in your hair and a bit more volume, because I have naturally quite fine hair. My dog's trying to bust into my room. So my dog was being rude and trying to bust in the door, uh, but she's calm now. Basically, I'm glad I got this headband, but I'm really disappointed that it's misshapen. I think it'll be fine once my hair is like natural and wavy and it'll kind of fill out the gaps and hopefully I can try and reshape it because that's what I've been doing uh, and I fixed it definitely at this side but this side is still wonky. I actually got two pairs of shoes from ASOS which is 
kind of a risk to buy shoes online and two of them uh, but the first pair are these super cute flats I think I, I shared I know I don't think I shared a picture of me like of my feet wearing these on Instagram because I wore these for the first time and it was pouring rain like I mean pouring like there were little puddles everywhere and yeah these really hurt my heel but they are so so cute uh, they're kind of the type of flat that might make your foot look a little big because of the square toe. Also, I got these in a five and I'm usually a straight five in almost all shoes. They are a little big fitting, I'll say that. But uh, I'll link these down below because they're a really good price and they're so cute, little pink tweed. And then the other pair of shoes I got are boots. I've been looking for a pair of heeled boots for a while and I wanted to get ones that were better quality because I have ones that I got like two, three three plus years ago from Boohoo and they are, or no I didn't, I didn't get them, I don't shop at Boohoo, they're from Shoe, um, but they are trash and I refer to them as my club boots because um, that's pretty much all they're good for, is going to the club and uh, they're like good for clubs and bars and stuff where your shoes might get kind of gross and then they are super uncomfortable so you also need to be drinking to be able to wear them and yeah, they're just not the cutest and I wore them quite a bit, weirdly, uh, when I was in like an orthopedic boot when I like didn't break my ankle but I basically broke my ankle. Um, so they kind of got worn out from that and I wanted like a classier pair so I got uh, these and I think they are super cute and super classy. A big issue for me as well is that I, again, I bust my ankle, uh, I just tore my 8TFL uh, on my left foot and I have really, really flexible ankles, like really mobile ankles. It's just genetics. Uh, I have like ligamentous laxity, generalized ligamentous laxity. And then being a dancer for so many years, I had really great arches and ankles, but now they're so stretched out that in some shoes like this, I'll almost like fall out the front because I my ankle won't naturally like, when I come up on the ball of my foot, I can just push over so far. So these are good because they're like structured. These are actual leather, I believe. Uh, they're like the res, yeah, they are. They're rescue leather is what they called it, which I, I don't know if it's like recycled or I don't know. But it was ASOS Design, which are, again, are they the best brand? No, but they're kind of on the same tier as Gap in that they're the same with the shoes. They're also ASOS Design brand. Um, They are, if you look at like the Fashion Transparency Index, they rank in the highest category most of the time, like Gap, but it doesn't actually mean they're great. They're just a little bit better than others. Uh, I love these boots. I think they're so cute and they're so classy. I'm yet to wear them out. That's why I'm like touching them. Um, but they do need to be broken in and they don't look as like smooth and everything once they're on me because A, I kind of have cankles and B, my ankles are so flexible. They like distort all boots I wear. But I'm super happy with these. These were not expensive, but they were on the pricey side. They weren't like full price, like, you know, shoes that you'd buy in a shop, like 120-ish, 100. They were like 68 or so, um, but I think they're a pretty good deal. The sole is really thin. I might get it resold, like just get a sole, stick on sole kind of thing from a cobbler, but, cause I did that with my Jack Rogers and it was a game changer. So I might do that with these, but I'm really happy with them generally as a purchase. So the last thing I'm so excited about, I'd been waiting for it to arrive to be able to film this video cause it was supposed to arrive two days ago and it didn't. And I was like, no, but it's so pretty. I don't want it to get lost. So it's also from ASOS, but it shipped at a different time because it kept going out of stock. So I just ordered it one time when it came back into stock and I got a notification and I would, cause the first time I tried to do it and you know, like jump on the computer, I was like, order, order. It didn't come up like it it was sold out within 15 20 minutes again so um i'm so glad i did and it is this gorgeous super sequined dress from zach london i believe not a john zach actually um not a brand i've heard of it was it was pretty pricey i have to be honest but i was just so obsessed with it i got it in the uk 10 and it's pretty roomy you know i would be a chunky 10 and it's really roomy so it's kind of hard to show it zoomed out a little bit uh and i'll also obviously have a try on clip but i'm just going to be doing a couple little adjustments on it um it is a nice deep v and it has sleeves that are not too baggy but uh, they are kind of fitted the upper arm and then they get a little looser and they have a stretchy cuff. Uh, as it goes down, it's a little crossover and it is gathered all at the waist. There's like plenty of extra fabric and then it's got two tiers of 
sequin ruffle and it has like a full back and everything it is so cute i'm so obsessed with it as i said oh it also has a little belt and the belt looks cute but i might not actually need the belt i think it might add a bit of bulk around the waist area that i don't want it's definitely a dress that you would like maybe want to tape your boobs in or to something a little bit more zhuzhy to hold you in there so i think i'm going to be um maybe where it falls naturally as it crosses here to actually stitch it close there not necessarily for modesty because that's not necessarily my game but uh just for practicality in case i want to be able to wear like sticky boobs with it or something so that they don't you know the ones that are like gathered in the middle and stuff so you have a bit of cleavage let's be honest here that's why we wear deep v's uh super happy with it is it quality like given the price is it good quality absolutely not no as you can probably see here the seam is rolling so um and this one you can see a little bit as well but when it's on it's just this one the lining is so, like the sequin fabric is great the lining is so cheap and you can actually see some of the stitching like some of the is it interlock uh is literally hanging out the side I spotted that at one point and I was like, oh shit, when I took it out of the packaging. But it's actually fine, uh, but it's not a quality garment by any means. But I'm so obsessed with it. I just, oh, I love it so much. That is it for this little haul. As you can probably tell, I'm very excited by all of these items, except for that headband. I just need to fix it. But that sequin dress, I'm so excited to wear. Hopefully I'll wear it before Christmas for some sort of party thing and then maybe I'll wear it at New Year's I'll see um because I am traveling for New Year's with a couple of girls from my course so maybe I'll wear it then but if you enjoyed this video be sure to subscribe to my channel uh I'll leave the little subscribe link over here and check out some of my other videos also follow me on Instagram to see me style this dress and style all of these pieces because that's where I usually post most of that content follow me on Instagram at anime.yt and I will see you in my next video